Hey everyone, it's Priscilla and I am back. It has been what they call a hiatus. I have taken a hiatus. I've taken a break from the YouTube world and it feels good to be making a video and getting in touch and saying hello. We are already in August. Um, life has been pretty amazing and just so many different projects and so many different transitions and changes in life that have been happening. I've started working for an amazing school here in Miami as a full-time art teacher, which is really exciting for me. So that is definitely taking up a lot of my time and my energy, which I absolutely enjoy. Um, the company is amazing. And I also released my new song. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in another, in another video, but it was a song that I had been working on for quite some time, pretty much the entire beginning of 2024. And so on June 6th, pretty much almost in the middle of the year, I was able to release that song. It is called I Woke Up Today and it was recorded uh, with nine young girls alongside me. So there's 10 different voices in there and it's just such a beautiful song. I absolutely love how it came out. The girls are precious and they're so amazing. I absolutely loved working with them and I had the amazing privilege of working with Salva Alba, who was the music producer and Gerard Ortiz who is the musical director. My friends, I am coming on here today to share a message that I received at my amazing spiritual community called Heartway. Uh, it's a church, it's a non-denominational church, a spiritual community. I have been going there for two and a half years. You can actually check their YouTube. They go ahead and post every single Monday uh, the sermon from Sunday. So the day after today, they're gonna be posting this, what I'm about to share. Um, today is Sunday when I'm creating this video. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post it, but anyways, uh, today's August 4th. Today's August 4th, 2024. And so today's message was called The Christ Pattern. Um, I really, it's such a joy to listen to Danny speak and to hear how he puts things together and the perspective that he shares. It's very refreshing. The way that he shares things are easily digestible. They're great reminders. And I love digging deeper into these different concepts and everything, right? And so today it's called the Christ pattern. And what I really loved about today's message uh, first of all, here is my iPad and what I have been doing in the last few weeks. Well, okay, for the last like two years, I had been taking my sketchbook with me every Sunday and I would do what you call sketch notes. And it's a lot of fun. It brings me so much joy. Um, and it really, for me, it keeps me very engaged in what I'm hearing and really, really taking it in. I find that even if I'm enjoying the message, sometimes I start to fall asleep or I get distracted or I start thinking about other things if I'm just simply sitting there listening to the message. So drawing is actually helping me really stay connected. And then there gets to be this beautiful artwork that I can share. And so here are the illustrated notes. I started to do it on my iPad instead. So now it's on in a digital form. Um, it's gonna be really fun to see what we come up with, with this entire collection of artworks. I'm excited to put something together with Heartway. Don't know all the details yet, but I absolutely would love to create some sort of way to share these um, more easily, you know, to share these with people on a, a beautiful, in a beautiful way, like package them up in some way and share them with people and offer them. Um, so I really liked when he talked about, it was a lot about the mind today and how you can either be experiencing heaven or hell in your mind. And Jesus, the son of man, he is the human one. He was the one who came here to show us the way, right? In human form. Like he is God who came on the earth to show us the way as a person. The, the whole thing about us ascending to God, us um, being close with God, us really evolving our soul and becoming our highest self, becoming our best version of ourself, you know, all these different things you've probably heard. 
the way to do that is to first descend into yourself. So to ascend, you first have to descend. And that's a pretty wild thought, right? You're like, okay, I want to ascend. And then it's like, okay, go this way. Descend into your human form. Descend into the humanity that is you, the humanness. Descend into your mind, into your darkness, into your inner demons. Descend into the things that bother you. Descend into the patterns and the habits that you feel are not serving you. Go into them and study them. Study them. Look at them. Because there's no way for you to be able to change things and transform yourself to be able to feel in a lighter state if you simply continue to carry all of your baggage, right? You're going to carry all this baggage. You're going to have all this weight that's going to weigh you down. That's going to, how are you going to actually like rise into the more of you, into who you get to be? Um, and so learn about who you are. Go into the wilderness of your mind. It is your choice and it is your journey. Like you get to choose to do that. It is not easy. There's going to be times where you might get a small glimpse of what might be there or a peek of what might be there. Or maybe somebody would tell you or someone shares an inf a piece of information or an idea that inspires you to think about possibly going on that journey. But it can be scary and it can be really hard and it can be challenging and uncomfortable. And sometimes we don't want to be comfortable. We don't want to be uncomfortable. Sometimes we want to stay in our comfort zone, right? We want to stay in our little box where it's safe and, you know, nothing's going to hurt us. And we're just going to keep passing by and all these things that we have stuffed down, all these heavy things, we just keep carrying them, the weight, the weight. And this is when things start to explode. This is when things start to, you just continue to live your life in patterns that are not working for you. And, you, and you're like, but why isn't this working? But why isn't this happening for me? But I really want this in my life for so many years. Why haven't I seen it yet? And I've tried this and I've tried that and I've tried this. But have you actually done the work of really looking, of really looking at yourself within? Mm. So the thing to know when you do this, when you decide and when you choose to do this work, when you choose to be willing to look, just know that God is with you. God is with you always, even in the darkness. He is there. The whole thing is to let allow your identity to be with God. Allow yourself to identify with everything that is your birthright, that is God-given, right? You are abundant. You are love. You are light. You are joy. You are authentic. You are beautiful. You are worthy. All of these things. And if there is ever any time that you do not believe any of those things or know or feel feel any of these things and instead your mind is thinking other things other I am stupid I am this I am that things that are not what I had just stated then there's something to look at because anything but you being worthy and love and light and peace anything but any of these high vibrational feelings and thoughts are an illusion they're not real okay in the moment they might feel real Maybe there's some stuff going on. And again, that's something for you to look at. Um, so it's signaling to you that there's something for you to look at, right? And so you get to take action. Um, the whole thing about your suffering and your pain and your challenges and your tough times and the difficult situations. Listen, the medicine that you are in need of is in the suffering that you are avoiding. Okay, so if you are afraid to face your inner demons, you're actually avoiding exactly what you need. There's medicine 
in your suffering. Mm. And when you face your inner demons, be willing to befriend them, okay? Because what you resist persists. And if you can befriend them and sit with them and look at them and learn why they're there and accept and learn something, right? Grow from these different things. That's, that's the way. You get to love yourself into change. <laughs> um, and as we get to a close here with the beautiful message, the whole thing, my friends, is vulnerability. When you step into saying, okay, I get to be vulnerable and honest, that is going to propel you into your healing. If you can step into the courage of sharing, of speaking out, of bringing into the light through your voice, through your sharing, through your beingness, the things that are going on with you to others, whether that's a group of people, to a friend, to a therapist, to your pastor, in some way, step into being vulnerable and sharing. There's so much strength and there's so much healing in that. You get to be witnessed and you get to process things with another person. And if you share in a group setting, if you're feeling called to, even if you feel afraid, do it. Because God placed you there in that community, in that room full of people to speak up, share your story, because there is at least one other person in that room that needed to hear you. That person needed to hear your story. They needed to hear your voice because something in your story resonates with them. They see themselves in you and you are not only doing a service to yourself in speaking, but you're doing a service to that person as well. You're doing a service to others when you speak up and share your story. So it is a gift to be able to speak up and share your story. It's a gift for you and it's a gift for others. Why not be of service for the greater good? Why not be of service to God's people? And accept all parts of who you are, okay? The, those inner demons, the darkness, um, the things that, the times that you've played small, the times that you've felt guilt and shame, the times that you've felt really heavy and down about yourself, all of those different voices and the, and the inner critic, accept all parts of you, okay? Because if you see these different parts of you and you have this shame about them and you're embarrassed and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that or... Now, all of a sudden, you're shutting yourself out. And again, you can't love yourself into transformation. I'm sorry. <laughs> you get to love yourself into transformation, okay? This is all love. And love and accept yourself and step into something new. <sighs> because, my friend, you can simply rest in the truth of being a child of God. Rest in that truth. That is the capital T, truth. You are a child of God. You come with the inheritance of everything that is God because God resides within all of us. Okay? So rest in that truth. Rest easy. We're all human. We all make mistakes. We all have our bad days. We all have these hard things. We all have our bad habits. We all have sticky, icky stuff about us that we want to change or we're tired of or we think it doesn't serve us or whatever these things are. So have grace and have compassion for yourself the same way that God has compassion and grace for you. He is the perfect father. He loves you completely with all of your beautiful flaws and all of your perfect imperfections and all of the things that make you, you. Mm. Yes. <laughs> ah, so again, that's a bit of the artwork. I'll also share it on the screen um, fully. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for letting me share this beautiful word and this beautiful message. And again, thank you, Danny, Pastor Danny of Heartway Church here in Davie, Florida. Hope you guys have a beautiful week. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And if you enjoyed this video where I shared some of my artwork and beautiful messages that mean something to me, uh, go ahead and follow. Uh, wait, no, not follow. Subscribe. <laughs> 
subscribe to my channel and be a part of the crew so you can see any future following videos and I hope to serve you I hope to help you grow and to inspire you and my friend may your days be filled with endless opportunities to create and play I'm Priscilla and see you in the next one